Hello everyone, welcome to Codis Camp. Hope you're all doing great. And we are in our binary search series where in our previous videos we have seen how binary search works, the template of binary search code, and we have also solved few problems using binary search logic. So here we are going to solve our fourth problem using binary search that is minimum number of days to make M bouquets. So the input given here is an integer array bloom day which represent on which day the flowers will bloom and we have to make yum bouquets with k adjacent flowers. So now we have to return the minimum number of days we need to wait to able to make yum bouquets from the garden. If it is impossible to make yum bouquets then return minus 1. So let's understand this with an example. Consider our first example given. We have to make two bouquets and each bouquet should have three adjacent flowers. So consider our first bouquet should have three flowers. So we have to wait minimum of six days to get our first flower. So on our sixth day, we will get three flowers. So we going to make one bouquet with that three flowers. So we made one bouquet. So now it's time to move to our second bouquet. So to make our second bouquet, we note we need three more flowers. So for that three more flowers, we need to wait for one more day. That is our seventh day. We will get three more flowers. With that, we'll make our second bouquet. So the requirement here given is we have to make two bouquets. So the minimum number of days we need to wait to make these two bouquets are going to be seven. So that is our output. Consider our next example, which is very similar to the previous one. We have to make two bouquets. Each should have three adjacent flowers. So let's wait for six days to make our first bouquet of three flowers. So our first bouquet will be made on the sixth day. So with three flowers on sixth day. So we have to make our second bouquet with three more flowers. If we wait for one more day on seventh day, one flower will bloom. But moving on to the next flower that is adjacent flower to seventh, that will bloom only on the twelfth day. So we cannot use this 7 to make the flower because we should use 3 adjacent flowers or k adjacent flowers. Here 12 is not adjacent to 7. I mean 12 is adjacent but it will not bloom on the 7th day. So now you have to wait 12 more days. On 12th day only this flower will bloom. So once on 12th day you will get this flower. You got one flower for the second bouquet and on 7th day itself two flowers has bloomed. Since they are adjacent to the 12th flower, we can consider picking them on the 12th day. So by these 3 flowers, we made 2 bouquets on 12th day. So the minimum number of days we have to wait is 12 here. So clearly this example shows the difference between the previous example is that the flower should be adjacent. Though 3 flowers will bloom on 7th day according to the given example, they are not adjacent. So we cannot pick all 7 on the 7th day and make 1 bouquet. So how are we going to approach this? So according to the values given, the minimum days you have to wait to get a flower is the minimum value given in the array. That is 6 in this given example. And the maximum days you can possibly wait can be the maximum value given in the array that is 12 in this example. So we clearly know the output or the number of days we need to wait is going to be between the range 6 to 12. So as always, if we can figure out that our output exists between some lower bound and upper bound or between a range, then we can directly go for binary search. So here we are going to use the same template as we have used in all our previous videos. If you are not familiar with the template, you can check my first video on how binary search works and that will help you get you know to the binary search template. We are going to use the same template and go to define our condition function and here the condition function is to determine whether we can make m bouquets with k adjacent flowers within the number of days we calculated as mid value that is every time we set the lower bound as 6 and a higher bound that is right value as 12 that is the maximum value in array we are going to calculate a mid value every time so based on the bit mid value and the condition functions result, we are going to fix our search space from left to mid or from mid to right. So this will be determined by our condition function. 
that condition function will send us a boolean value true or false based on whether we can make m bouquets with k flowers by having mid days that is mid here denotes the number of days we need to wait so if my mid days are enough that is if we can make enough bouquets then we set our search from left to mid or if we cannot make enough bouquets with waiting mid value waiting for number of days as mid value then we set our search space from mid plus 1 to right so we have seen how we are going to use the condition function to fix our search space now let's see how our condition function works let us name our function as can make so we going to iterate through our array and if we find k consecutive bloom days which is less than the mid value then we increment the number of bouquets so consider we calculated our mid value as 8 and we have to take three flowers consecutively so let's iterate through the array so starts from 6 so here in the bloom day if we wait for 6 days we'll get one flower so we are going to have a variable count and increment every time we find number of days less than 8 so now the count is 1 So moving on to our second day, which is also six. So now our count is two. Moving on to our third day, which is again six. Now our count is three. So now we found we found three adjacent flowers, which is actually the key required number of flowers to make the bouquet. So in this case, we are going to increment our bouquet by one. So now the bouquets made so far is going to be one. So again. make the count to 0 because we found three flowers so again we have to start counting from first now count become 0 and start counting from the next value in the array so if it find again three more adjacent flowers it will increment the bouquet likewise it completely iterate through the given array and finally arrive at number of bouquets we have made from the given bloom days and within waiting for mid finally it it checks whether we have made m bouquets within mid days then it returns true if not it returns false so consider it starts counting from the value 7 the count now becomes 1 and moving on to 12 12 is not less than 8 which means we did not find our adjacent flower so now again reset the count to 0 because we should start counting from 12 again we cannot consider this flower at day 7 to form our bouquet so this is how this function works so if we can make m bouquets within this mid value then we fix the search space less than 8 that is 6 to 8 and try to reduce the number of days and check again whether we can make m bouquets if not we couldn't make m bouquets in this case we fix the value from 8 to 12 and increment the number of days we need to wait and check whether we can make m bouquets and return the final value so before getting into code as binary search reduces the search values by half every time it requires big o of log of max value in the given array time complexity and for every mid value we gonna call our condition function can make which is again gonna take big o of n time complexity so overall the time complexity of this algorithm is going to be big o of n log m so now let's see the code now so if you see the second example the number of bouquets we need to form is 3 and the flowers we need is 2 so overall to form 3 bouquets 3 into 2 6 flowers we need but the total size of bloom day is 5 that is we have only 5 flowers we don't have the sixth flower to form three bouquets so it is not possible straight away we are returning minus 1 so we are going to check that condition first if m star k is greater than bloom day dot size then return minus 1 and the rest i'm going to have my same binary search template where i'm going to assign my lower bound value as the minimum value in the array and the upper bound value as the maximum value in the array bloom day
so now we have our basic binary search template and finally we return the value at left so now let's spend some time on writing the function can So here we are iterating through the values in the given array bloom day. So if the mid value we calculated is greater than the bloom day, then we increment the count. And if at any point we found k adjacent flowers, then we are in decrementing the bouquet because we have made one bouquet and resetting the count to zero to count further k adjacent flowers. And if at any point we have made m bouquets, then we are returning true. If not, we are returning false. The same way as I said, if we cannot find k adjacent flowers in between some value is different, then we are again resetting our counter to zero to count k flowers in the future days. So let's run. Let's submit. Yes, our solution is accepted. So thanks for watching the video. For more binary search series videos, you can check the links in my description. If you like the video, hit like and subscribe. Thank you.